three years ago, a few companies got together in a sort of ad hoc way because we had concerns about the high oil price. Uh, and we decided to do a sort of business risk assessment of the peak oil issue. Um, and going into that exercise, the companies that were spread you know, pretty much across British industry were not all of the view that there was definitely a problem, but the thinking was this is a very high consequence issue and um, is it a high prob probability issue as well? Um, I thought it was and one or two of the others did as well. But by the end of the exercise, a year of looking at the uh, risk assessment, we were all of the view that this is a very high consequence and very high risk issue. It's going to come down on a world economy that is oil dependent, nay, oil addicted, uh, as a great surprise when oil supply begins to descend, maybe even collapse. Um, and, you know, we th this is a, a huge whistle that we're trying to blow. So why isn't anyone listening? I think that there are two main reasons. The um, counter-argument is very strong, and it comes from you know people you would expect to be correct in their analysis, BP and uh, some of the other big oil companies. So they're listened to, um, as, as they should be, because it's a risk assessment exercise, and we're weighing arguments here. I think very definitely there's a sort of desperation to believe the comforting narrative if your choice is the uncomfortable narrative and the comforting one. And, I mean, I... I personally find that everywhere, in government, in industry. You know, people do not want to believe that there is a problem with the lifeblood of, of modern economies. They just don't. You were talking about peak oil a while ago. Let's get beyond that. What is the oil crunch? The oil crunch is when global supply fails to meet demand and starts to drop, and arguably we fear starts to drop uh, so fast that you'd almost call it a collapse. There are so many problems with conventional oil and unconventional oil that on the massive balance of probabilities, by 2015 at the latest, in the view of the industry task force, there'll be a descent of global oil production. And that will cause a crunch, it'll cause the price to go through the roof, it'll cause price volatility, and um, all the downsides that come with a fabulously expensive and, in some cases, simply unavailable oil. There'll be a sweeping realisation, including in the oil-producing countries, that, you know, crikey, we've got this wrong. Uh, there isn't as much down there. We can't get it up as quickly as we thought we could. And uh, then oil-producing countries are going to start husbanding their resources, which is code for keeping the oil for themselves. Now, if that happens, you then have oil-importing countries facing refineries that just can't get enough oil delivered. Uh, and that really is serious. So I, I think, you know, we really will be t tested uh, many countries in this crisis that's coming.